Hello there, it's Lucy and Gav from IGN, and we've just been to see Michel Ancel's new game, Wild. It was amazing. It like was wild. It was wild. <laughs> no, it was it was actually amazing, yeah. and I'm really pleased that it was amazing because the stage demonstration was amazing. Yeah. And the, again, this is like you know, I think one of the the key sort of words that's come out of out of the Paris Games Show yeah. is uh, is just ambition. Like these these projects are really ambitious. Yeah. And Wild is very ambitious. And I think, like, the thing I love about Michel on sales, like, we were meant to see just a video of the demo that everyone else got to see, and he's just, he just was like, nah, we're just nah. gonna play alive. Like, if there's bugs, there's bugs, but we just wanna play alive. And that's the thing I love about him, is he has these, like, crazy ideas, and he just kind of does what he wants. And now that, you know, he's kind of breaking away from Ubisoft, and he's come up with this crazy idea. I just sat in a demo with him, like, chucking out, like, Bloodborne. He was like, I want it to be like Bloodborne with a giant bear. You can take control of all these different animals. And, you know, we saw in the demo him take control of, it, like, a giant bear and an eagle. That was really cool. Then he took control of a wild boar, but he was like, actually, no, I'm gonna take control of the little wild boar. Yeah. He took control of this, like, cute little boar, and he was like, oh, and it also has a stealth mode. He was, like, stealthing around and stuff. And the way he talked about, like, the online world, which is something I, don't, I hadn't really thought of, it sounds huge. It does, it does. And that's where the Bloodborne comparison came yeah. in. So we were, you know, we were asking, how how do you invite people into your world? Yeah. And he, you know, because you don't, you don't want hundreds of people running around, no. uh, basically possessing animals left, right and center. It'd be chaos. So he said it works more like 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 Bloodborne, yeah. where basically you can invite players into into your world, but how, they're going to behave very differently depending on the territory that you're in. So basically, the whole concept behind Wild is that you learn to become one. You're a shaman, yeah. and you learn to become one with with the wild yeah. and, and and wild animals. And you start off from infancy, yeah. and and then you grow. Your character grows. And and by the way, your character is totally customizable. He really yeah. stressed that. So we saw just a, a man in yeah. in the demo, but you can be a woman. You can be a, 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 a big, tall, giant guy. You can you yeah. can basically be whoever you want to be. Awesome. And, and, and stay with that character as, as he grows. Yeah. How you sort of react and interact with the animals uh, really depends on, you know, on what kind of character you are going to be. Yeah. So say for example, you invite someone into your world and you've killed a bunch of snakes because you've decided that you don't like snakes, but they are a, a real snake person. <laughs> and, they're, and they're gonna be really angry at you. And, and, so, and so their, their whole like, MO is going to be to, you know, mess you up because you screwed over all those snakes. Stop messing with my snakes, man. <laughs> the thing that I liked about it was he was saying about everyone starts in a different place. Yeah. So like you might start off in like a swamp, I'll start off in the mountains, and everyone's going to have their own stories, which is such a huge thing now in games. Like we're seeing it so much where people have been given these amazing tools by these amazing people and going, yep, yeah, just go off and make your own stories now, like, yeah. which is an incredible thing to do. Yeah, and I, you know, and one of the other things that I really love about this concept is as you grow from, from infancy, the relationships that you have with baby animals yeah. is going to be a lot stronger than, say, when you're older. Yeah. And the way that you use them is also really intriguing. Yeah. Like, we saw him jump into a rabbit and then, uh, you know, move into this cannibal camp yeah. and suss it all out because, you know, no one's going to suspect no. a rabbit unless they have another shaman, in which case, yeah. Yeah, you know, that's... that's no one ever suspects the rabbit. No one ever suspects the rabbit. Um, and then you can go back and then you can jump into a bear and yeah. then go and, and destroy the cannibals. I mean, it's, it's great. It's a really intriguing concept. Yeah. It's super early days yet, but I honestly can't. This is the one I'm most excited about, I think. Um, so if you're excited as well, let us know. But for everything else, Wild, keep it right here on IGN.